Hey guys, it's me Paco and welcome back to Bad Witch Books. So I've been gone for a bit. I've been gone, took a two month, two month hiatus, didn't plan on it, but I'm back. The witch is back and now there's hell to pay. <laughs> no, um, I'm going to be going over all the books I read in um, February through in March. So up till now, um, it's not that much I've read. Okay, so I'm going to be going over today all the books I've read while I've been gone. I was gone for two months. I didn't plan it, but we're back. And that's what we're happy for. But I read um, a bunch of books while I was gone. And I'm going to give you um, my thoughts on them. I will do my physical books that I did first. And my the books I have that I audioed. And then I will be going over my comics that I did on ebook. So let's get to it. So the first book I finished. I finished in February was These Violent Delights. By Chloe Glong. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in Shanghai in the 1920s. And it's like our two roaring families are two rival gangs. I like this. I gave it like a three three 3.95, like almost four stars. I really liked our Juliet. I loved Juliet as a character. I thought she was really interesting and really well done. And I loved, I liked Roma. I liked their interactions. The thing that kind of knocked it off a couple points where I don't want to really go into spoilers, but I just don't do bugs. I don't. They are. They make me ugh. And just if you know this book, this had plenty of moments for like just ugh for me. But and I say three point nine, but it's really a four star. It's truly a four star book read. It was really good. I loved our chemistry. I'm a huge Romeo and Juliet like fan, so I like seeing which character with which, and I like the shift it took. And I'm excited. I'm gonna most likely fit, read the next one. It's just. I got to get over my bug thing. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> this book is gory. I will warn you on that. Like, I knew it was going to be gory going into it, but I didn't know how gory. So just heads up on that. So the next book I read was, physical book I read was Wings of Ebony by JL. I really like this. This is a really good book. This is about a girl who, her after her mother dies, she's from Houston, but after her mother dies, she is taken from Houston, her home, to, like, this, like, island, magic island, and, like, given powers by her biological father that she did not know before, and it's just, like, her finding her place and, like, trying to save her home that gets threatened by forces from her island. And it's really interesting. I liked it. I liked our main character. If you, I liked what it had to say about home and, and the power of community, taking care of each other on how like, even though um, you would think these communities don't have much, they stick together. I really loved it. And I liked our main character's voice a lot. And I just liked the things it had to say about like, knowing your history and like the history of your people as well what this book had to say about that i don't want to go too much into spoilers but i really liked it um the action scenes were really good and i like the way they described the magic and you know more the sucker for um, magic being described so the next book i read in february was a vows the bold and deadly by bridget kemar this is the final book in the uh curse breaker trilogy which the first book being a curse so dark and broken and the second book being a heart so fierce and lonely I am giving this book four stars. It would have been five stars, but the ending fell flat. I felt like it wasn't wrapped up enough. And like for finales, I always I try to grade finales like for a series that I love. Like I try to grade them more harder than I would a non-finale book. But just this left a lot of loose ends, and I don't think she has another series in this world planned. If she does, that might raise my score for those loose ends not being tied. But the ending did feel kind of rushed for me. Um, I don't want to go into spoilers, but I really did love our connection that these two characters had. That if you read the other books, you know. And I liked it. So, four stars for this. So, one of the, my favorite books I read while I was gone will be The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. This is the final book of the um, Girl in the Night... The Winter... 
Night Trilogy, I believe we would call it, is the, um, the first book being um, The Bear and the Nightingale, the second book being The Girl in the Tower, and the last book being Winter of the Witch. This is a five-star read. I loved it in all of its witchy goodness. Um, Vasya was amazing. I loved her relationship with um, our Winter King, Mar Marsikov, I believe is how we say his name. I loved it. I love just loved her, like, accepting and embracing her inner witchiness, her inner witch. And I like that we saw Baba Yaga in it, and just, like, all the plot threads were wrapped up. It felt very nicely. And this is how you do a finale. Um, five stars. And the next book I read was Palo Santos and the River of Tears. This is my first middle grade I've read in a while. This is about a girl who, um, her friend goes missing. And she believes that there is something supernatural mess with it. And basically, like, the threat might be La Viona. And I love this. Like, I really loved reading a book about a Mexican girl having to save the day. Like, being a Mex Mexican kid myself, you know, I didn't see that much growing up, like, on TV or in books. And so I liked seeing it. I liked, also really liked how her mom and her relationship was, it was interesting to see because her mom was very, like, superstitious. Her mom was, uh, did a lot of, like, um, tarot, did a lot of tarot, did a lot of, like, healing and stuff like that. But she was a very, like, science brain. And so it was interesting seeing those things clash. And I really liked their de depiction of La Riona giving it like four stars mainly because in my opinion La Leona was a big selling point for me on this book I love that Smith and I didn't get to see it enough so I but I did like it it was really good highly recommend I can't wait for the sequel I'm, I sound picky I feel like I'm picky when I'm rating these books I'm not giving them the five stars but like five stars you gotta earn it um but yeah this is really this is really good so then the last like physical book I read I just finished and that is A Car So Dark and Long. Um <laughs> A Court of Silver Flames. Look how pretty the Illuminate edition is. I just wanted to show it off. So pretty. Nessa. Cassia. Now this A Court of Silver Flames. It's hard for me to talk about. I want to do a book review. I'm gonna do a full I'm gonna try to do a full book review hopefully that will be it um sooner than later but i really liked it in the fact that nesta is my favorite character in this world i really related to nesta in a lot of ways and i love seeing her book and her perspective and there were some choices that i'm going to talk about in my book review that I just didn't like about the book and that is why it's not a five star read when this should be like a better book like I liked I think I liked when I liked it I really liked it like I think I might have liked this more than Court of um, Frost um, Mist and Fury but the things I didn't like really bothered me and so that kind of um Lord the Reading, of course. So it's not, like, going to be my favorite, favorite books. But, yeah. So those are my physical books. Next, we're going to go into my comics. I'm going to show the comics I read on my tablet. But let's um get to it. You would think I would have this open already. But what do we know about Paco is he is unorganized. Do, 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 do. How long will this take me? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> do, 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 taking forever. Where is it? Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so first comic that I fully read in February was the final Justice League Dark volume, A Costly Trick of Magic. I really enjoyed this series. This, is, I believe, is the final issue before they, like, did a bunch of changes, and I don't know if it's continuing, but if it was, I will look into it because I really love this series. But yeah, this is the final it. This is Diana, Zatanna, Detective Chimp, Swamp Thing, and Dr. Fate, like, final stand against the Upside Down Man. 
which is like this dude. He's like the embodiment of the opposite of magic. But yeah, this is like the, the end of what uh, they've been building since issue one. And it basically like asks, what is magic in the DC universe? Is it wonder? Is it hope? Is it light? Or is it fear? Is it something dark and scary? And like the answer is it's both. I really enjoyed this. I felt like every character got a chance to shine through. Like Man Bat did. And of course, like I also really love Diana and Zatanna too. My top five like DC characters. Diana being Wonder Woman being one of my like fa my second favorite fictional character of all time. So I just really enjoyed the series. I would highly recommend it if you like magic, especially in comics. But yeah, I really enjoyed Justice League Volume, Justice League Dark Volume Three: A Costly Trick of Magic. So the next one I read. was do, 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 do. Yeah. not me closing me up Do something. Sorry, this is taking forever. I'm unorganized. Was Young Avengers Sidekicks Volume 1 Sidekicks? And it is by Alan Heimberg, and the art was by Jim Chu. I'm Chu. Chu. Um, a Jim. I'm not going to say his last. I'll put in the um, details, but I don't want to mispronounce it. But, um, yes, Young Avengers, Volume 1, Psychics. Now, Young Avengers, their 2013 run was the first comic I've read. And so it was cool seeing this team that I really love. Like, I love Wiccan and Hulkling. I love um, Patriot and Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. So I really love seeing it. I love seeing, like, the beginning of it. And it's also timely because, like, you you're in, watching any of the Marvel TV shows, they're introducing, like, slowly introducing the Young Avenger characters throughout the shows. And I'm just, it was nice seeing the beginnings of this. This has got, a, like, a four star for me. Just really hit a heart, like, my heart with it. And I really enjoyed it. Next we got... Um, The Marauders, an X-Men book. This was by, um, Dugan. Flying Dugan didn't say his first name on it, but I will put it in the description. But yeah, so this is a, it takes place in the new X-Men status quo, where the X-Men, all mutants are basically living on this island called Kokoa. They've got, like, they're a new world power, and they're living on up. But Kitty Pride, who now wants to go by Kate Pride, can't enter the island through the island's, like, magical portals for some reason. And so, basically, she becomes a pirate that, like, goes to the, like, countries where, like, they're trying to keep mutants from entering the island because they want to use them for whatever. And she goes and she frees them. And she, like, leads this the, this team, which has Storm, Iceman, Bishop, Pyro. And they're, they work closely with one of my favorite X-Men, Emma Frost. I really love this because I love seeing the connection of the Emma Frost, Storm, and Kitty Pride, who are my top three X-Men. And I just really like seeing their connection. The world, like, I love seeing Emma Frost having to, like, deal with um, the Hellfire Club being in charge of it and having to deal with the Black King of the Hellfire Club for she's the White King and that Kate Bishop became the Red Queen of the Hellfire Club. So I really enjoyed it. I love, I love everything about this volume. This volume gets five out of five stars. I did read volume two as well. And where I, what that one shined was the character connections. But I just didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed volume. I'm trying to get um, volume two. Oh, here we go. Yeah, volume two. Did read that as well, but I just, I enjoyed volume one more. Volume two got two stars. And I think the art might have had something to do with it. But I still love this team. And so far, this is my favorite out of all the X-Men, new X-Men stuff that I've been reading. But yeah. That, that's my favorite of all the new X-Men stuff I've read. Um, 
all the new Marvel stuff I've been reading. So this is not X Men aren't the only Marvel. They're mainly the Marvel things I've been reading, but they're not the only. Because the next one I read was Strange Academy, Volume One, First Class, and this is basically Doctor Strange, Doctor Voodoo, and a bunch of other magic users of the MC MC um, universe, MC Marvel Cinematic, the uh, Marvel World. And they've created a school to teach kids how to use magic and just young magic kids. I enjoyed it. It was really lighthearted and it was kind of needed. I needed that like brush of like humor and comedy and stuff. It's kind of hard to see because it's like got a white background. But I enjoyed it. I gave it a three out of five stars. It was cute and enjoyable. And I'm excited to see where they go next. Okay, the next comic I read was X of Swords, which was the final thing I've read, so last thing I've read lately. If I can get it for you, you will see it. Once I find it. Okay, X of Swords. Yeah. X of Swords by Brian Michael Bendis. This is a, a mar big X-Men event that has to do with, like, I said earlier that the X-Men are on this island, Kakoa. There's another island on the other side of other side, I don't know, other side of what, but that wants to basically take over. They want to, like, conquer the world, and, like, so as the X-Men are, like, forced to, like, by a witch, the White Witch of Overworld is forced to enter a contest, and each of the members have to get their sword, and it's really interesting. I really love the build-up to this, to it, like, each, because each certain X-Men is, like, the prophecy foretold. And everybody has to, everyone in the prophecy has to find their swords. And I thought that was really interesting. And, like, seeing how some of these characters got their swords. The, like, actual, like, middle of it was a little, not as much as my favorite. But I enjoyed the ending. What it set up. Um, I really liked that Tarot played a part in it. Because not only was it, like, X of swords, but, like, Ten of swords. And, like, the tar Tarot did play a big part of it. And I liked Tarot, so I like seeing that. But yeah, so this got like a four out of stars. I gave it a lot of four stars, so I enjoyed what I read. And yeah, but that's what I read. Um, while I've been gone, I read a lot more comics. I will be introducing a new like thing to my channel, Apocalypse Comic Corner. We'll see what that becomes. I just like the title. But that will be something I add to the channel. But I will see you guys next time. Um, let me know what you guys read, how you've been. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. It's... A